Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video, I'm going to go over the brand new Hades Secret Order event that just began tonight at Reset. This event lasts for five days. It has really good rewards, and you get rewarded for doing things that you would normally do in the game. Anyway, so let's go over the kind of the rules of the event when the event unlocks so at reset today when it started all alliance members can join the prize order so you can i'll, I'll go over that in a minute but only alliances that at least have 10 members and the number of active members within the last seven days exceeds one so you have to have 10 total members in your alliance and at least two had to have logged in in the last seven days Alliance members who join after the event is unlocked can't really can't participate at all in the event. Alliance members collect a bounty by completing prize orders. You can collect the corresponding bounty rewards when your accumulated individual bounty reaches a certain phase. So I'll, I'll go over that in a minute too. You can use gems to buy bounty at any time. There's a daily max limit of prizes um, you can accept every day. If you don't use them up, you won't get them added to the next day's max number. During the event, you can continue to accept prize orders if you... You can't continue to accept prize orders if you quit the alliance. So you have to stay in your alliance. If you do leave, let's say you leave and you go to Crown or something like that, and then you come back before the alliance, before the event's over, you can continue at that point. But while you're away from the Alliance, you can't participate. All right, Alliance race rules. So so this is basically your Alliance uh, competition, um, your group competition with within uh, this event. You're actually going to get prizes depending on what the group does. So if the group reaches these point goals, everybody who participates will actually get a reward. So... It makes a lot of sense. You, you know, you hope that all of the the other alliances actually participate, the other realms. After the event is over, the system will send those rewards out to everybody. All right. You had to have at least, <laughs> your alliance members need to do at least one bounty to get those um, big rewards, those rewards. So there's a cross-realm bounty rankings for the top 50. If in those 50, you have at least... Um, receive 2,000 bounty points. You'll get a, a ranking reward, and we'll go over that. I'll try to find it in here. During the event, alliances are not allowed to disband. Duh. To avoid wasting quest times, please refrain from accepting anything that you've already maxed out. So if you've already maxed out your beast, you can't really use the XP. If you've already maxed out your lord, you can't use your XP. You know, don't take those quests because you'll just you'll waste your time. Or anything else that you've already maxed out. Okay, pretty simple. So those are the rules. So here's the alliance competition. So across the top, these are the rewards that you can get, kind of the tiers you get to. So, you know, we've reached tier one, so we would get everything, you know, depending on where we rank as far as alliances, we get, you know, one of those. In uh, you know the tier two, same thing, and so on. And I'm guessing that the prizes get really good. Look, yeah, pretty good later on. So that's good. It's just a free prize for participating. So you have, and I'm gonna skip the prize order for now. I'll come back to it. Bounty ranking. So this is where you are in the event. So this is I'm in eighth place right now. And let me see, it should show rewards, right? Yeah, ranking reward here. So this is where you can get those Hades uh, castle skins that show up in the decorations now. So for first place, you get the seven day. And, you know, it looks like you need to get at least in the top five to get one of the skins. So I'm going to really try to get in the top five before this is all said and done. So, okay, so uh, individual reward. So this is similar to some of the other types of events that we have here where you can, you know, you do certain things and you can move up levels um, using points and it's the same thing here. If you evolve it, you get some really good prizes. You know, you get a pretty decent amount of Azurite 
you know, throughout here, there's there's a few places where Azurite actually shows up. Um, you also can get artifact fragments, some gems, you know, and this is a five day event. There are 25 levels and this has only been going on for th a little over three hours. I'm at 17 already. I have a feeling that most people will have a good chance of actually finishing this if you participate in the event. Okay, so how do you play the event? So, you know, you go into the Haiti Secret Order event and you click Prize Order. So you get a certain number. I think you get five quests per day and then you can buy additional ones by clicking the plus. And by doing that, I think you get an, you can get up to another five. To do well in these types of events, you need to pick the the quests here that are high star. So they'll give you the most amount of points. So you see this one is speed up recruitments. You can accept this um, quest, but then you, you will have one hour to spend 3,840 recruitment speed up minutes. So if you have those speed ups, especially right now we're actually in the strongest lord but it's not for us it's not the um, recruitment speed up day but i wish it was because this will be a great one to take use gems i'm usually really good at this because i use up a ton of gems all the time so use up four thousand gems and you get 360 points that's okay that's a four star i'd rather have a six star or i'm sorry a five star you can also click refresh up here, and you can sp um, you get a free I, I, you get at least one free refresh every day, and then you have to pay for it. You refresh and you can get some more quests here. So this would be one like if you were already gonna spend um, on some packs, if you get 500 gems worth of packs, not including the weekly gem pack, right? Not anything like that, but normal packs. It could be sale packs, but you know you get whatever. If you get a a four ninety nine pack, you get one thousand. A nine ninety nine, you get two thousand. So do the math. You spend twenty five bucks here. But if you're already gonna do it, then why not and get the points? All right. Using artifact XP. I mean, all of these are, are pretty easy. You know, speed up your buildings if you're building some stuff using gems. Let's see, there we got a, a B skill XP one. I don't think I have any to use there. Have a speed up research. I've, I think I've already done that once. Um, use Zodiac Birthstone. So one thing you want to keep in mind, and where I made a mistake already once. So I took this one, but when I took it, I was out of quests that I could do. And when I clicked it, it said, would you like to buy another pay to um, have another quest attempt and i said yes and for some reason in my head i thought okay i already took that by doing that that i already accepted the quest and i hadn't and then i went and i i got 60 um zodiac burst stones because i already have them i've been saving them up I'll, I'll show you i don't have like a million i'm like crazy with it but i've been saving them up you know trying to get to everything to blue and purple so like i don't know how many yeah i need another 36 to be able to do that and i don't think i can because i don't have enough um yeah i only have five left there but yeah that's one so in this event also you would normally do things like use up your beast xp artifact you know raise up your artifact don't do any vip points i i would almost recommend not doing anything that doesn't have one of the bounties associated with it so even like your gold coins to do your conjuring there's one of them it's uh use 300 i believe so i would i would just wait <laughs> to um to use that so that you can actually get your bounty with it as well so this is a, a really cool event um, with a lot of the stuff that you would normally do and and it's it lasts for a few days so you know you can actually save up and and take some of these event um, some of these quests some of these bounties and actually complete them and you get points so you could see that 
some of those six star or almost 600. So that would get you all the way up to level six right there. So you would get all of these rewards just from that one quest. So it didn't take a whole lot of quest completions to get um, to level 17. And it was quite a bit of rewards here. So, yep, I, I do um, like this event and I will continue with it. And again, I'm going to try to get, you know, into the top five so that I can actually get that skin. And I will let you know if I do. All right. So if you have any recommendations on this event or if they're, you know, and uh, here, I'm going to show you one more thing. So if you go over to the Alliance competition, you can actually see where your Alliance is in the rankings. And for your Alliance, you can click the contribution and see where you are. I'm really not sure. I mean, I know you can do this. Um, you can like, but I'm not sure really what it does. <laughs> but it's there anyway. So this is where you can see kind of who is, is going at it in this event. And ask around and see if anybody has questions and help them out all right so if you do again if you do have any questions let me know um, give me some feedback in the comments you can also reach out to me on discord and i show it in here or online or you can actually even email me and with that take care thank you